Welcome, everyone. Join us today is OBGYN Dr. Anita Landry. Welcome. Hello, Dr. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, I, I hate to just jump out of the gate and ask people such a personal question, but who here has ever called in sick to work even though you were perfectly fine? I did it. No, you did not. I did. As a doctor? No, 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 no not no. as a doctor. Oh. Not, 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 not Okay. Doctor. Is, this is good gossip. Yeah. When? Yeah. What was and what was the? I mean, so some job you had in college or something? Yeah, just like high school, college. Kind so what of was stuff. the uh, what was the <coughs> ailment? I actually had stomach pain. Very smart. We're about to get into this research. I can't believe we're actually talking about this. I, I I'm struggling. Yeah, but now because we're telling people that there is actually research out there that has figured out the exact time and date to make your call more believable. Who? Who? who Researching that. So what they did in this study is they actually looked at a thousand people. They conducted this via a market research company, and they found that the best time to call out sick is Tuesday morning at 6:38 a.m. Sure. Mark, I, Mark, set your watch. 6:38. Not 39. I, I mean, I'll tell you this: if someone's getting a phone call at 6:38 a.m. as a supervisor. They may fire you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that, but they do say that the best excuse, stomach problems. See? It's hard to say, oh, so you have diarrhea? Come on in! Right. <laughs> Great! You're throwing up all, but you know, it, it's interesting because employers do look at Monday and Fridays as less viable because they're thinking, oh, they're trying to extend their weekend. Um, so the worst time to call in sick is on a Monday or Friday, 65% of employers say that they won't believe you. <laughs> so I don't know, I, I find this, let me ask you this, do you think that there, if you have sick days remaining, mm -hmm. is it a viable alternative to call in and say you're physically ill when maybe you just need an emotionally, or not an emotional day, I don't like mean a that. Mental, a, a mental, mental health, health day, that's what I it's called. I am so into mental yes. health days. I think they're very, very important. You've been working hard. Those that I take mental health days. Do you? But I plan them ahead of time. Yeah. I need a Maybe. mental health day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you do the rest of the show <laughs> from back. I'm gonna get next strain talking to you, but have you ever called in? So you're still working. For you're an, to take for an day. ER okay. shift and you didn't show up? No, I, you know, I've never missed a, I haven't missed a day of work. I don't know that I've ever missed a day of work. You know what? I, I really don't. And I haven't. I, so, um, closing out this entire topic, I think we should say that usually honesty is the best policy.